Legolas 003 and I am here with a mod review. <clears throat> now the mod I am reviewing today is the Star Wars mod. Now there is a lot of stuff in this mod. It's for 1.7.2 as you guys can see in the left in the, in the corner up there. Now there's a lot of stuff so I might not be able to show all the crafting recipes and I might crash a couple times. So the first thing we're going to start with is the moisture evaporator. This is what that looks like. Nice 3D models. Uh, pretty much all the stuff in this mod is, has 3D models. But, uh, yeah, so to craft the top, you're just going to need three iron poles like that. Iron pole, two iron. Middle, like that, and that's. Now that was the moisture thing as you see in Tatooine all the time. Tools. Um, there is the portal activator with that. Um, wood handle. This is metal. And the cortosis. Cortosis. Lid. I don't think that right. But um, now to get the the, cator the uh, cortosis, the lightsaber stuff. I think you need to go to the nether. I've been looking around the nether a while, and I have not found any, so I just decided to put up a couple. Here's a Catorsosaur, which I think is pretty rare, and a couple of these now. Let's just, um, fly around and see if we can find any. Um... And, oh, here's some. Here, here's the purple and the orange. Now, if I grab my pick and go into, um, dang it, and go into game mode zero, you, you will get the, um, crystal. And, did it all spawn together? I don't know. But, um, yeah. Let me just go back into creative. Nope. Wrong one. Okay, now let's go back to the portal. Okay. So, I'm just put that up there. Now, once you have the purple crystal, you... Okay, wrong one. Uh, weapon. You can um, use it with the metal, the catrosis, the metal, or the wooden one. And they will all do 10 attack damage. And there is the blue, red, green. Let me just. There are all the kinds there's white, black, orange, yellow, purple, green, red, blue. Um, yeah. Quite, quite a lot. Okay, now if I just grab some of these and the rifle. Now to craft the E11 blaster rifle, you're going to need the blaster rifle handle, the stock, the scope, the ba two barrels. Now, um, since there's a lot more stuff in this mod, I might come back to this. Um, but um, this works basically as a bow, and I think. So, if I go... Back into create a uh, survival. Pulls back like a bow and shoots like a bow. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, then the lightsaber doesn't allow you to jump higher. There is no double bladed handle, but um, I don't think. But I cannot download the um, the latest version, so I'm playing in some other version. But um, yeah, so that's the weapons. Now here is the clone trooper armor, uh, phase two uh, armor. As you see, he's working on like 3D models for this. So class, crack, craft the helmet. You're gonna need carbon, which you get from the carbon ore. You just smelt it using, um, charred wood 
fences. Um, then there's this. So it's basically your traditional um, armor crafting recipe. So if I just take this all off, put these on, go to F5. As you see, I look very, very awesome. Okay, that... Don't know if this... Yeah. Now I just um, take this back off. And I'll put it away. Now there's there's a couple more things in this mod, which I'm going to have to go into the creative um, tab bar for. But there's miscellaneous, there is holocrons in this, there's a display, and then there's um, some in these things, which you cannot actually craft. Which is actually kind of acceptable, because they spawn in like a bunch of blocks that are hard to get. Now there is the computer, the carbon ore, the imperial lamp. Um, that's all stuff for Tatooine. And then there is these. Now if I go into artifacts, you see there is a bunch and bunch and bunch of holocrons. And there's symbols, there's um, all these, there's armor, there's weapons. Um, and then there's, yeah, just, just a lot of stuff in this mod. There's that. That and that. Now the Imperial Lamp, it, it works pretty much like Glowstone, but it looks like something from the Death Star. And then there's the computer, which does nothing. Now, I do not believe you can place the Holocron. They just look, oh, no you can. Then you get this little... Kyber memory crystal. And if you place, if you put like neons, you'll, you'll still get that. Now, if I grab the wait, uh, the display goes for the computer. You're gonna have to get this mod, guys, and just you know play around with it. And there is one thing I almost forgot: the Tatooine portal. Now, to craft the portal frame, you're just going to need any sandstone in a block. I'll get you the portal frame. Now, I'm going to have to grab the portal activator. And go outside. Don't even care for now. Go outside and put this down. It is exactly the same as making a nether portal. Light it. And as you see, it it looks very, very beautiful. Looks like a river of something. But yeah, if we go through here, we get an achievement, Tatooine. If we go through here, um... I'll be back when I get to Tatooine. Sorry guys, but this this isn't wanting me to go to the Tatooine. But basically, there's a bunch of sand everywhere. Uh, I believe there there's also quicksand there. So if I bring in a um, uh, let's see here, a chicken, because I mean nobody nobody likes a chicken. I put that. Wrong block. Put him there. He will just um, fall in the quicksand. And you will too. But he, he's going to die eventually. So, put that away. That's that. Now the next thing we have is um, a bunch of like summon items which are really, really, really cool. Now he added a bunch more of these. And... Just to warn you, I might crash, because I, I summoned in the at, at and it, it kind of crashed my game. But he added in a bunch more of these guys, so it, it's definitely worth checking out. Now, here is the Slave 1 uh, flying. See, this is this is why you can't craft it. There's nothing in the dispensers. Um, there's the wall, guns, um... 
don't really know where the entrance is, but see, it spawns in like gold and stuff. But this is really like cool if you're doing like a an adventure map and you want a quick way to build um, Django Fett's. Um, the ladders broke. The ladders broke, guys. If you want like a really quick way to build um, Django Fett's ship, yeah. And so that was the flying. Now here is the landed. And these, I mean, this looks exactly the same, but as you guys can tell, he's he's laying down. So here's the entrance. Um, it should have like a piston door or something, but then your game would really crash probably. You got some bedrock. Um, don't really know what this is for. Oh, pressure plate. I don't know what that's for, but uh, yeah. That was the uh, slave one landed. Now, okay, the, the chicken died. If I clear this out, what? What do you mean he lived? Okay. Uh, here is the um, eight, uh, the public shuttle landed. I believe he added one flying. So you walk up in here, there's some beacons, um, some more bedrock, um, yeah. And now the last thing is the ATAT. -AT. Now, I, I spawned this in and I crashed, so I hope I don't crash this time. Okay. As you see, this is this looks almost exactly like the uh, at from uh, Star Wars, but I mean, all these look all these look pretty cool. So if I just hop, ooh, snap, if I just hop in here real quick, uh, there's a lot of stuff, room for weapons and stuff. Now he is at only 25% of this mod, guys. So. Just remember that. This is a really, really epic mod. Um, a lot of stuff. Um, a lot of symbols. and This is more of the... I think this is one of the more in-depth Star Wars mod I've seen. Because you guys know about the um, advanced lightsabers. That, that only added in lightsabers. So, yeah. Definitely check out this mod, guys. Um, it's very, very awesome. Uh, very, very awesome. I'm an elf. You can believe me. But, uh, yeah, guys. I think this is pretty much it for this mod. If you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like. It'd be very, very appreciated. And, uh, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye! Dang it.